Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I'm James Doyle with Frizenda, and I'm here to tell you how you can turn any whey protein powder that you have into an ice cream-like frozen dessert. So, uh, it's really simple to do. Uh, Frizenda consists of two packets, a liquid and a dry mix. And all you do is actually mix these two packets into a thick whey protein shake that you make yourself, and you put it in the freezer, and it will turn to a frozen dessert. So, I'll uh, go over the steps with you. It's really simple and really easy to do. Um, the first step is to measure your whey protein powder. Um, you can use any whey protein powder that you want. Um, whey concentrate, iso, hydro, um, casein, any blends, um, any type of whey protein will work. So um, measuring three-fourths kitchen, uh, kitchen cup is the first step of your whey protein powder. So you can measure in a cup like this. Um, also, the equivalent of a uh, three-fourths kitchen measuring cup is going to be about 50 grams worth of protein. So it's not an exact science. You can go ahead and actually use your manufacturer's scoop with your whey protein powder and just pour in uh, about 50 grams worth of protein um, into a freezer-safe container. Uh, freezer-safe containers are actually most Tupperware and most plasticware products on the market today. Um, it's going to be like a thicker plastic, and it's going to have a uh, picture of a snowflake on it or it'll say freezer safe on it, uh, most likely. So we're gonna do the first step right here. We're gonna pour that in. The second step of the process is one cup of milk or one cup of water. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use the water. Now, if you do the one cup of milk, it's actually gonna take, taste more like ice cream. Um, so it's gonna be a little more flavorful. Um, water will just help save a little bit on calories and it's cheaper. Um, so the next two steps is just adding in Frizenda. And I'll show you the two packets right here. It's a liquid and a dry mix. So you're going to see right there. It's really simple to do. I have the liquid mix that I'm going to pour in first. And just make sure you open it up all the way and pour, pour all of it in so you get the best results. And the next step is dry. Um, just same thing. Just go ahead and pour it all in. And the next step is to put the lid on and you can either shake it or you can just stir it with like a fork or a spoon. So it's really, really simple to do. You're gonna have some clumps, um, but don't worry. It's still gonna work and still gonna taste great. Um, just cause I know it's a thick protein shake. It's hard to break it down completely. Um, but just, you know, do your best. You can stir for a minute on the directions, like I said, or you can stir for 10 seconds. You know, it's still gonna work good. And so we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And now we're going to go ahead and put it in the freezer. It does take 14 hours to actually uh, turn to a frozen dessert. But once it's done, it's going to be amazing. So I'll go ahead and show you right here what it's going to look like completed. And we'll go ahead and make it look all yummy too. So this is the frozen dessert. Um, let me go ahead and scoop some out and show you guys exactly what it's going to look like. So if you're tired of drinking uh, protein shakes like me and you rather eat it like a yummy tasting uh, ice cream like dessert, um, then go ahead and try Frizenda out. It's going to be only uh, $2.99 a packet. Um, we're going to sell in five packs online. So it's going to be uh, very affordable. Um, let's put some sprinkles on here, make it look all pretty for y'all. And check out that final product. I mean, tell me that does not look amazing. So you can go ahead and order um, at Frizenda.com um, so you can start enjoying any whey protein powder that you have like a dessert. It's just so awesome. And it's so simple to do too. Um, you can go ahead and order at Frizenda.com. Every order will come with a brochure. It's a how-to brochure. It tells you all about it. Um, visit our troubleshooting guide online at Frizenda.com. Uh, if you want to make it taste even more like ice cream, um, it's going to taste uh, kind of like a, an icier sorbet, um, but there's certain uh, troubleshooting uh, tips online if you want to make it really, truly taste amazing. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Bye.